Welcome to Ultimate Lifestyle Adventures. We are Bondi and Shell. Join us as we travel to seek awesome destinations whilst exploring the area that surrounds. You never know, you might just discover your new adventure. Happy days, happy travels, stay safe. Hey guys and welcome to another episode. G'day everyone. Uh, just let you know what we're up to this time. Uh, this time we are heading up to Fig Tree Camp in Mount Perry, uh, Queensland, up in the gold mine hills. Uh, the property. Not hunting. Hopefully we're going to do some foster king. So, but anyway, um, on the way through, we're going to stop at Jinjin Bakery, get some breakfast. Definitely yeah. stop at Jinjin Bakery. Oh my gosh, they are just so yummy. I'm stuck for words to describe how good they are. So check them out. Try we'll, them. They're we'll really good. We'll see what we got for breakfast. It is really yummy. And then we're going to duck into the bul 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 boom <laughs> No. Tunnel. Bul boom Tunnel. It's an old um, train line tunnel built, I think, 18, 1882. Uh, 80, 83, 83, 84. We're going to check that out as well before we get to camp. If you do the bul boom tunnel, take a torch. You may need a slight jacket because it is a bit cool. Worth having a look at. It's about two k's in yeah, off the road. Yeah, off the main road. Yeah. yeah. Um, on our way through to camp. You have to stop every time you pass through Jin Jin. You've got to stop at the Jin Jin Bakery. Oh yeah. What have we ended up with this time, my love? Apple turnovers. Oh my gosh. And you got what's that called? That's called a matchstick. Oh, look at that. Love it. And then two chunky steak pies. Two chunky steak pies. Mm. That's us happening, brekkie time. So looking forward to it. Whoop, whoop. On our way to Mount Perry, we've gone out and looked at this bul 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 Boomba tunnel. Two Ks in. Apparently it's an old um, bowling line tunnel or something. So we're just going to go up here and have a look. I don't know whether we can turn around or whatever. Well, there's a loopy thing there. Park near me there. I want to just come back to that. But anyway, we'll have a look and see what's going on. So we've just pulled up outside the bul Boomba tunnel. It's, um, Isn't it Bull Boonda? I don't know. Bull Bull Boonda. B double O L B double O N D A. Bull Boonda. Anyway, like coon. Um, we brought the van up here, not knowing what to expect, but so far so good. Where we are, there is a bit of a turnaround section here. Otherwise, just back a little bit down the road, there is like a big turnaround, I suppose, spot. Like a mini roundabout. Yeah, so you could back it down down there. Bull Boonda tunnel. So constructed in 1883-84. We'll go and have a look in a minute. And there's a bit more. What do you got there? This hole was made in 1883 using an Inge soil drill. Let's go for a bit of a walkie on up here. I do believe you can actually drive through this, the tunnel. We're a train. <gasps> oh, I feel the coolness. So this is it. It's cool, hey? It's cool, right? Yeah. You feel like a breeze. Yep. It's quite la, 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 la. Oh, it is cool, actually. Hey? No, it'd be colder than 12. Look at that, wow. It's all been chipped away. And there was a bomb blast there. That's where they had an explosion thing, right there, see? Cool. This is so awesome. And this is what? How far away from Bundy are we? Uh, 30, oh, hang on, from Bundy. Yeah. Oh, we're about 80 k's. About 80 k's. But it's only about 30 k's west of Jinjin. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. This history Whoa, just in your backyard. Like this That's... history just in your backyard. It's pretty yeah. cool. Any bats? Yeah, there's a bat in there. Look at that. Can you see the fella? Hang on. Let's see if I can zoom that in. There he is. There he is. If you come back here, there's another one. There's a little fella. Um, the deeper you get into the tunnel and the cooler it gets, you seem to be finding more colonies of these bats. But they're so tiny. They're only little things. So I have to find out exactly what sort of bats they are. Cave bats. Cave bats. Oh. So we made it to the other side. It's actually quite a long tunnel. It quite... is. But yeah. take a torch. Definitely a torch, yeah. And it is quite cool. This is the other side. Oh, yeah, there is a bit of a turnaround section down here. You go able to turn around down there. Mr. Butcher Birds decided to come and check out on us. Make sure on your way back, see the sign, give way. 
Or which half are trains. Which half are trains. <laughs> <laughs> back into the tunnel and we'll walk back through. Well, we're not going to crawl. Oh, you can crawl if you I want. I don't want to crawl. So how was that, my love? Cold. It was a bit cool, wasn't it? But to think that we actually walked through history. Yeah. Like, that was, what was it, 1882? Uh, 83, I 84. I think mean, it was. 1883, 84. But that was cool. They were built, so it's pretty good. And all the bats. Oh, cool. All right, all right well, we're going to um, head on now to Mount Perry. Oh. Going to look in there. Sounds good. Cool. Heading up the west coast in the morning to find a place Where no one knows our faces or our names If we don't leave now we might never make it out alive Plans are changing, rearranging all the time so come away with me Let's break free We could fall asleep Where the land and ocean meet Wake up to the south Open it and close it again, just doing farm etiquette Wake up to the sounds of no one around And there's a sun comes up Look at the view! Isn't that beautiful? That's number seven. So just remember this is a private um, property. It's the same old story, just respect everything. Not your backyard, it's somebody else's and they've opened it up for us. Which is absolutely awesome. Look at this view. Is this awesome or what? So here we are at Fig Tree Camp, Mount Perry. Now we're going to find a nice little spot over the back over here. Um, amongst the trees. Nice little spot apparently. So up, on, up there we're going to go, I reckon. So I've just been speaking to lovely David at the front on the way in when we check in. And he has highly recommended site number 12 or 13. 13 is our number, so we're going number 13, obviously. And I'll show you our view that we're going to be having for the next couple of days. The sunsets are just going to be awesome. Well, we've arrived at Fig Tree Camp and we just realised we have not done a quick setup camp for a while. So, what do you reckon, babe? Let's time, do it, babe. time for a quick setup camp. Let's do a fast forward mode. Fast forward. So, we go one, two, three, and just like that, camp is all set up. And kettle's on. Come join us for a coffee and some cake. Coffee and then and check out time. the view. Now, look at this. How easy is that? And how is that view? Isn't that beautiful? G'day. G'day. So we're here at Fig Tree again. We just come down to the bottom end of it. This is where they do the fossicking. So we'll find out whether we get some... Um, Gold, me hearties. Gold in their hills. Gold. Oh. Oh. All right, so this more. here, babe, look, look, look. This yeah. here, like Babunda Tunnel was, what, 1880. Three, three. Four. Yep. So this could have been from then. It could be. Yep. Coming through here to get the, the gold there. The gold to put through the tunnels. Let's have a look, see. This is a bit of a hole in here, apparently. No, I, I saw what? that little one over there near the fence. Oh, wow. Well. Wow. Well. Okay. Be careful. I'm not going to lean over there too far because some. Um, wow. Well. So this is actually all gold mines. Gold. Um, Fox King. Fossicking areas. So people obviously come in here and digging around and sugar. I wouldn't be trying to get down there though. It's pretty deep. Careful. Yeah, we've got our good shoes on again. So, so it just... goes down there. Come over here, precious. I'm getting there. Yeah, hey, we've got our good shoes on. Yeah, just let you know we're wearing our good shoes for um fossicking. 
in the um <clears throat> out in the outback out bush oh, oh yeah look at that yeah see okay so there's that's a better shot yeah see down in there so some of them have been digging away over the years i mean maybe back then it was a maybe that was a big tunnel through that one stage maybe it was a well no, see there's one down there too well, yeah, gonna this other one. okay we'll go this way i'm gonna go one way or the other this looks more rougher more rougher that one go this that way one just hope for the best get yourself onto the foster king license queensland get yourself a foster king license it was twelve dollars for a month for a family so that's what we paid anyway but i mean if we go foster king if we go foster king, we just mainly want to have a look but how do you know like seriously yeah you've got to get you've got to have the equipment to do it so. how do you know like this rock here but this rock and this rock right how do you know there's gold in that one and not in that one put it to your mouth and chew it did i just throw away a thousand bucks yeah don't know. that but, size would be more um if you're interested in fossicking and stuff like that yeah come on down you guys you can, you can spend a day down here fossicking and carrying on and trying to dig up some holes and oh my goodness a hole here we're just gonna have a look oh, that's a hole is that a hole oh she yeah. oh here's another baby there you, oh look at that oh yeah there's a bit i don't know if you can see that but i'll goes into the yeah it does it goes down there and then that's another big hole big tunnel down through there that's amazing yeah not yeah i don't think i'll be doing that so these are all um open gold mine shafts yeah, open shafts cuts what do you want to call them so but uh they're all through the property here at fig tree creek there's more people down the bottom over there having a crack no, oh, look, you got to be in it to it. win it. you got to be in it to win it. Like a crab pot. It's all pot luck. <laughs> <laughs> pot luck. Oh, this looks serious up here. It looks serious. <laughs> Shell just found herself a nice little fern here. Look at this. Look at the ground, though. Like, I don't know whether that's because people have been digging away over the years. Or whether it's just cor corrosion. It's very moonscaped, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's real funny. Moonscaped. Stuff, yeah. yeah. I think if you want to have a bit of fun, it's definitely the way to go. Get yourself some um, fossicking gear and come down here. But you also can, when we're speaking to David, the owner, um, you can actually hire uh, gold detectors and that from him. I think it was about a hundred bucks deposit and ten dollars an hour or something like that. We've sussed it all out. Yeah, we've, we've, we've marked our territory. Then we've marked our territory. So tomorrow we're going to come down. And we're going to strike it rich. We're going to get so much gold that we're going to retire. <laughs> and then she's going to wake up and realise it's all this big dream. Yeah, but I still woke up with you, baby. You did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to get back up to the car now and um, <laughs> come back to reality. Yeah, come back to reality. <laughs> so we're heading back out of here now, out of the <clears throat> from the mine shafts and the mine tracks, fossicking area, and we'll show you part of this track. It probably won't show you too much, but. Yeah, she's a bit ordinary in some spots. <laughs> That's just what it's all about. Uh -huh. Adventure, adventure, adventure. Uh -huh. Exploring your backyard. This is why we call it the ultimate lifestyle adventure. Boom, boom was hoping to get a nice sunset this afternoon tonight but unfortunately the sunset went down exactly behind those trees so we're heading on down now to um do a bit of foster king just be careful though because there is mine shafts open shafts all right we're down here as well now um i just want to sort of mention something before we go anywhere check what michelle's got there all right it's a metal detecting machine you can actually hire them from David and Karen here at Fig Tree Camp. They're $100 deposit and $10 per hour. All right, so you can hire them here. You can also hire the pans. I think it's a set of three pans, $25 a day. So, so there you go. So we've got the shovel, we've got the detector. So let's go detect. We're going fossil king. Let's get down there. So we're going to get in here and um, do some fossil king. Go check it out. So this is one of the highlights here at Fig Tree Camp. Um, they do actually have a 
registered gold mine on site. Um, there has been gold found here, but uh, we'll show you some of that a little bit later on. Stake our piece of claim. And Shell reckon she's onto something, so. What we got? What do we what do you got there? Oh that's a big piece of metal. I think she's onto something. They call that a pot. Oh, it's a gold pot. <laughs> it was a pot of gold. <laughs> oh this noise. She said it'll be a high pitch noise. So here we are, we're having a crack at it, we're doing some fossicking. Okay, look at that. Right, all the way to the right, so that's... Okay, let me try that one. So you can hire these equipment, you can get down here, you can have a bit of a fossic, a bit of a play around. Um, you're not going to make a million dollars, you're not going to retire. But you can give it away. Give it a go. It's all fun and games. Once you find a bit of buzzing, just get in there and have a bit of a dig. See if you can come up with something. But anyway. Anyway. That's the story of it. So have a crack. That way you gonna do it. Yeah, get down to Fig Tree, Fig Tree Camping at Mount Perry and get yourself some fossicking tools and go fossicking. So in aid of all this, this is what you can actually get. So this is actually what has been found here. Um, we were, Karen was nice enough to um, let us bring it down with us and have a look. But that's a bit of um, grainy stuff there and there's some actual nuggets. So there you go. So that is what has been found here. So it is chance, it is possibility that you will catch, find something. Because this is a registered gold mine, you need to have a Fossil King license which you will be asked to show on arrival with David and Cal if um, you decide you're going to be Fossil King. Where'd we get in? It's online. Just look up Fossil King License Queensland. And we did the family one for a month and it was $12. Cheap as. I think it was $9 a person or $12 a family. There's different things here. There's different lengths of times you can get them for. But that's what we did, so yeah, make sure you get your um, fossil king license. Well guys, that's it. We're done and dusted here at Fig Tree Camp in Mount Perry. Um, this has been an absolutely awesome spot. As you can see, we're still, still, still rugged up. It's, um, I don't know, what is the temperature? I know, I put the TikTok oh, away. Clock's got away. But it was stuff. seven degrees this morning. Yeah, so it's beautiful. We are on the top of a ridge, so you get to see like a nearly a 360 degree angle right around us. There's our, um, our view this morning. And by, by the way, there's a Telstra tower just there. We got full service at Telstra. I don't believe Optus or like that are any good out here, but Telstra is full on coverage. Well, there you go. There's our, there's our view this morning while well, sitting here talking to you guys. It's really picturesque, you could say, when you watch the sun come up, obviously in the east, uh -huh. and then it sets in the west, which you would have seen the photos. So. The sun's sort of just up at that angle at the moment. It's in our faces, hence we've got the hats on, the sunglasses on. Well, mind the glass anyway. But anyway, um, but guys, this has been an absolutely fantastic little spot here. Um, now, this is also on Wikicamp, HipCamp, and Facebook. You can book through Facebook. That is a preferred. Uh, just send them a message to David and Karen in their Facebook page, uh, Fig Tree Camp, and you can book that way. Um, but yeah, check out the reviews on Wikicamps as well. Don't forget too, it's a gold fossil king area. So get your gold fossil king license through fossil king license. Just if you just Google fossil king license Queensland, comes up. And it was we got the family one. It's only the two of us, but we got the family one. It was only twelve dollars for a month. Hmm. So that's all it is because it is a registered gold mine here at uh, Fig Tree Camp. And we did go fossil king. Mm. So we found a few that. stones, but rocks with sparkles in them. Anyway, so yeah. I don't know what they were like, but. Anyway, um, so yeah, like this has been an absolutely awesome spot, guys. Um, definitely worthwhile. Being winter time or cool time, it's it's nice up here. We had the campfire going. Put it on your tick list yeah. or your bucket list, whatever whatever list you got. Put it on your list. So, That's it. Uh, yeah, nice piece of paradise.
moving on to our next adventure where that's going to be but in a couple of weeks time we are heading down to <gasps> habitat nisa we're habitat so NISA. excited yes we're looking forward to that one we'll we did go 12 months ago um for my birthday no two years wasn't it oh it might be two years ago now I think it was two years yeah. but anyway we've been invited to come back down um we're going out in the uh eco tour boat hopefully with uh big captain pete, pete. if he's doing the hopefully the cruises so that's yeah yeah that's that's coming up next couple of weeks so keep your eyes open on that one but anyway in the meantime please if you watch any of our shows that we put together for you the happy travelers or just people that like watching it please leave us a comment please like comment and or subscribe it greatly appreciated we appreciate it and it helps us help you so and it doesn't cost you nothing to subscribe to youtube for example uh but we we really do appreciate if you do yeah we do like and tick all that sort of stuff every yeah. bit counts bloody earth it does so thank you for that yeah all right so uh, on that note guys um we're going to move on to our next adventure happy days happy travels stay safe ula all the way cheers guys stay safe safe travels bye-bye a big thank you to our major supporters caravan and camping queensland base camp sorted time to explore Paperbark Bush Camp, where the bush meets the sea. 